Hi guys, welcome to Dressing Tammy. I am Tammy. This is Olivia and she decided she wanted to sit down on today's video. Hope you don't mind a visitor. So I have no plans. I have no actual plans for this video. I um, have been at work since I think it was like seven minutes to five this morning. I got up at well, I actually got up at 1, but I headed out of the house about 4.30 this morning. So, again, I'm kind of dragging, and we are hopped up on caffeine, soda, and dry shampoo right now. And the dry shampoo is fading fast. So, anyway, I had to go get cat food after work, and I thought I'd swing by Walmart's little fabric section and see what they had because we all know that this month my only main make is going to be my dirndl for Black Friday and if you don't know what Black Friday is it is our Thanksgiving we have after Thanksgiving but nowadays they start on Thanksgiving but whatever it's a whole other video but Black Friday is the after Thanksgiving sale where everything is on sale which is really not Please wake up to this, people. It's really not. They buy really cheap crap and sell it at really cheap prices. And then the rest of the good stuff you can get on sale all year long. But that's just a little retail 101. Anywho, I stopped by and looked at their little roll fabric. And I picked up this one. Um, this is going to be the skirt. It is black. And I picked black because as a store, we're supposed to be like cohesive, like red tops, black bottom, or you can wear denim if you want to, but I'm not going to wear denim. I'm going to wear a dirndl. So this will be the skirt part. It's, I love it. It's, I think it has a lot of nice drape. And again, it's black, so you can't really see. But it's kind of got, I think, it's called, it's called bottom weight. It's got a good, I think it'll hang nice because it, it's really got a good weight to it. I'm learning, you guys. I'm learning. <laughs> so, we'll see. So, this will be the um, skirt part. And because of the red top, I'm going with this one right here as the vest part. Like right here. And then I'll have a little white blouse under. So, this is red and gold. And that will be the top and the skirt. And then, this is the part that you guys are going to go, what are you, do you go shopping by yourself? Yes, I do go shopping by myself, and I buy things because I like the way it feels. So, I bought two white fabrics for the little top that goes under. My plan is to have, because I think it's probably going to be kind of cool, especially because I just stand there, I'm going to probably be a little cooler, is just to have kind of like, I don't want to say a Henley, but... If I say Henley, you kind of understand what I'm saying. Kind of a, a crew neck, but then um, a little opening here. And I'm hoping to have some lace in there somehow. Um, and then a little puff sleeve and an elastic and then kind of a ruffle around here. Now, bear that in mind when I show you these fabrics. This one right here, I kid you not, if I can find the thing... That I got it. Um, I'm almost embarrassed to show you guys this, but this is what it is. Yes, you're reading that right. That says diaper fabric, and it is this one right here. I just I love the way it feels. Um, it's 100% cotton. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. I don't know. Did it even pick up? Probably not. But I just think it's awesome. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use it or not, or it might become the apron, but I think it's got enough, it's got enough heft, I think, that it can support a puff sleeve, but I just think it's going to be wonderful. And then the other thing I got, and again, just because I like the fabric, <laughs> is this white gauze. I don't know. I've never seen anybody sew with gauze, and there's probably a reason for that. So this is it. It's got a very, you could probably see the check in it. Um, I don't know what. I thought this would be a cute, if I went the other way and did like a ruffled part right here, like a gathered elastic kind of a thing, and then came out with a puff sleeve. 
I thought that would be cute and this is just so soft it's so soft but this one I don't know if it has enough heft to hold a puff I don't know if it has enough path path but I think it's cute oh look see mm -mm 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 -mm. so I don't know I don't know probably gonna go all kinds wrong and then I thought to take strips of these two and I don't know if you're familiar with the dirndl and some of the different kind of ruching ribbon I know there's a name for it um, I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm talking about because I had to watch videos on how to make it so you take two different fabrics um, a lot of people use quilt binding or something like that ribbon um, their fabric and then you take let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I can do it. Let me do it real quick <laughs> You put two together and then you take One like like this again. They're segmented one inch apart And then another one. This is like so crap, but let me see if I can get it without the ribbon undoing um, oh God you guys are going oh my word we know what you're talking about just get on with it Okay, and you go like one inch to one inch, and then one inch to one inch, like that. You sandwich it like that. <laughs> like that. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like this. Okay, and then you have this little sandwich kind of thing and then you take these two things and pinch them and it makes like this little trim thank you mommy my white cat patting at it um, I don't know when we get there I'll show you and then you'll see but that's gonna be all around the vest part and I've seen where they have done the vest um, and the skirt with a zipper starting at the vest front and then go down into the skirt part the skirt front center front so basically you've got four panels on the skirt I believe I don't know it could be just a slit in the center front and then you put the zipper in in into the vest that way you can get it on and off over the little white top so that is the plan is to have kind of a black and red kind of trim I couldn't find I really wanted gold but I could not find Hobby Lobby has all of their trims half off this week so I'm gonna head over there tomorrow after work and take a little snippet of this red fabric and see what I can find now my ideal was to make it more Christmassy but I really like the black material so much that I thought if I didn't connect the two and made like an actual kind of a vest then I could just make this into a, a an actual skirt that I could wear later but herein lies the rub I wanted to put um, a band across the bottom or a piece of ribbon across the bottom um, but I don't know if I'll do that I might go ahead and just leave the skirt black and then whatever fabric I decide for the apron then do all of the decorative ribbon and stuff on the apron part that way I can have a nice black skirt that will go with a lot of things when I'm finished so that's the plan that was a lot of talk for really nothing right so anyway now we're gonna start on some ideas for next year okay I just want to give you an idea so anybody who's not on board with this can bail <laughs> <laughs> right now jump ship right now because we are going to do Miss Blair Warner of the Facts of Life wardrobe now I want to show you something again another thing that I'm a little embarrassed about but I did it and this is my little book of everything Blair wore from season one to season nine I don't know I can't even remember how many seasons there were now um la, 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 season nine season nine everything um so i've gone through most of the time i was just watching them on youtube until 
they took them away and then we you have to buy the box set so I got the box set and so I've got all the episodes I even have the Paris and the Australia trip so we're probably not gonna go there but I have been kind of spending some evenings going through a lot of this stuff and I think I can do it I really do there's some things that I'm I'm not 100% sure that I really want to get into with her wardrobe but I wanted to run this by you guys because I have every single season every single episode all of her outfits from season one to season nine a lot of them are capsule wardrobes so a lot of the time she'll mix one shirt with one skirt or something like that put a vest on put a blazer on and so when I get to honestly it's probably season two really where it starts doing that I don't know if I want to go into season one so much there are a couple of outfits she had a burgundy dress on and like I think it was episode two it could have been episode one um, when her mom came to visit her and mr. Bradley and her had a but anyway that's another story um, but she had a burgundy dress on so season one I might pick and choose um, what I make because she didn't have a capsule wardrobe at that time she had a lot of different looks the only constant was her Eastland uniform and speaking of Eastland uniform hang on all right so um yes I did I went and bought the Eastland patch there is a shop on um, Etsy I cannot pronounce the name um, it is Anna and I'm just gonna show you here yeah I probably should have bought two because she has one on her vest as well as her blazer so this is probably gonna be the very first make is the Eastland uniform so <laughs> I am right now on the hunt for maroon burgundy fabric for her vest and the skirt um, I'm gonna need to buy and I'm not sure which way I want to go in the first season she had him on with the black and white saddle shoes and then later on she had him on with like some like um, ox blood or burgundy kind of um, ankle strap almost kind of a Mary Jane stacked heel look with her blue knee-high socks so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with the with the um, stacked heel or I don't know she wore the stacked heel longer than she wore the saddle shoes so we might be on the hunt um, eBay Etsy somewhere for those I pray that my mom gets them in at not so new but yes yeah, so this is the first thing right here is her uniform that's what we're gonna make also I want to show you I don't know if you can see this right here let me just get it this is this is Miss Lisa Welch right here and an autographed picture to me <laughs> this little obsession goes way back okay so okay so we are ready so based on that pick and choose episode one I'm just gonna make what I want to make out of that season and then and as we get into a season two I'm gonna take all of her outfits and make a capsule wardrobe now what I'm asking everybody who's on board with this idea of Blair Warner Wednesday what would you like to see would you like to see every single outfit that she had in that season because I do um, or would you think that would be tedious and it's gonna take like forever so uh, but I'm thinking as I get more confident with sewing that things will come together quickly because again it's a capsule wardrobe so we don't really have to make a whole lot of things it's she just had them mix and match so I'm thinking as we get farther down now when we get into seasons six seven eight and nine things got a little different because she lost a lot of weight and she dressed a little cuter I think she was very very preppy um, for the first few seasons and then as she lost a little weight she got a little bit more body conscious a little bit sexier a little bit um, she still stayed classy but <laughs> if if you've seen them you know what I'm talking about so what would you like to see how would you like to see it done would you like to see me do all of the outfits from season two to season nine um, or not so much also would you like to see me make them exactly as 
they were in in the 80s because I would or <laughs> would you like to see me make them for today honestly because she dressed so classic and preppy most of her outfits you could wear today anyway I mean there are a few with the the little 80s you know belt that hangs off the waist probably you probably could get away with it today I'm not sure but I don't know so but we're not there yet we we are that's long down the road so you let me know what would you like to see and I pray that one of you out there was a Joe fan you do the Joe outfits I'll do the Blair outfits maybe we can find a Natalie and a Tootie oh my god wouldn't that be awesome <laughs> <laughs> that would be so awesome. So, um, but yeah, so that is the plan. And we're probably not going to start that until we're well after the holidays. Because like I said, I still have to find some of the, the basics. I've got to find shoes that I know she always wore. I've got a pair of kind of oxblood, um, burgundy kind of reddish reddish heeled boots right now but I need to find um, I need to find those shoes she wore with her uniform and um, for the first few seasons that's about it those boots and the shoes I think I can get away with most of her outfits for the first two seasons and then as we get into other things I've got to find a pair of gray boots so that is my mission right now is to find a pair of gray heeled boots it's almost kind of like a grayish kind of a gray beige I have not found anything that's even close to that but again that's further up season six and seven um so yeah all right well this is a long-winded video and I am gonna go back and make some more notes on season two and start looking through patterns that's it for me right now I am gonna go have supper and <laughs> call it a night because we got to do the whole thing over tomorrow but on the bright side I do get home at 11 30 so all right you guys have a wonderful week stay safe if you're getting any of this rain and snow stay safe okay